What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Crypto Wire. And here we go again, bank number four. Now, let's listen to some headlines and then I'll give you my thoughts on uh, this whole situation. So, let's hear what they got to say. I'm Michelle McCorry. Thank you for joining us. New concerns about the stability of the global financial system are rattling the markets. Credit Suisse, a major Swiss bank with $1.4 trillion in assets under management, is on the brink of collapse. The stock is tanking down around 25% after Credit Suisse acknowledged that it found material weakness in its financial reporting. And Saudi National Bank, its biggest investor, said that it will not provide any further cash injections to the already battered bank. Now, Credit Suisse has large U.S. and global operations, and this is putting added pressure on the financial sector, which is already under strain after the recent failure of three major U.S. banks, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank and Silvergate. And fueling the fear, uncertainty and doubt, BlackRock's Larry Fink, who says the U.S. banking system may face more seizures and shutdowns. So how about now you guys heard it for yourself. Like I said, this whole banking situation is uh, starting to be like waves in the ocean. It's nothing but a huge ripple effect, starting with Silvergate, uh, then to, you know, Silicon Valley Bank, then the Signature Bank, and now Credit Suisse. Now, one thing that I want people to know is that Credit Suisse has trillions of dollars under management compared to Silicon Valley Bank's billions of dollars under management so if a bank like credit suisse was to fail then you know that's going to do some damage to uh the markets in general damage across the world i mean cause a, a major recession you see what i'm saying that that type of pain now credit suisse did borrow more than 50 million dollars from swiss national bank after the shares crashed 30% today, okay? Now, again, we're talking about a bank who has, again, trillions of dollars under management. Um, it's good to see that, again, in some way, shape, or form, every time one of these banks fail within the past few days, someone is there to bail them out, right? So, hours after the Swiss Central Bank said it was ready to provide financial support to Credit Suisse, the mega bank took it upon uh, took it up on its offer, hoping to reassure investors that it had the necessary cash to stay afloat. Credit Suisse said it would borrow up to 50 million Swiss francs, or 53.7 billion dollars, from the Swiss National Bank. Investors sent shares in the country's second biggest lender, crashing as much as 30 percent today. The bank called the loan a decisive action to preemptively strengthen its liquidity. Now. One thing that has people worry right now is, is my bank going to go under? Now, one thing that I can definitely say is right now, this is how a lot of people are filling in the market. They got more than $250,000 in one of those bank accounts. <coughs> yeah. And this, is, and, and, and this is the banks right here. <coughs> so. If you ain't got more than $250,000 in any bank, you don't really have much to be worried about because as long as you're with a bank that's FDIC insured, you're going to get you know your money no matter what happens. Now, in this case, this is more of a, like I said, bailout for these banks because even if we go back to Silicon Valley Bank and uh, Signature Bank, they claim to even be trying to cover people whole above the $250,000 FDIC insurance range. Now, this is going to pour a lot of money, again, back into the banking system and pretty much stop uh, the run on the banks, if you will. Um, it's trying to bring back the faith in the bank. But as I stated, not only is crypto really volatile right now because of all of this going on, stocks are even as uh, volatile as crypto right now. And as you can see here, Stocks drop as fears grow about the global banking system. And that's where Bitcoin keeps coming in because as more and more fears tend to grow around our current financial banking system and how 
it's pretty much collapsing. Like I said, just like a stone skipping across the water, you got to be careful, especially if you, like I said, you're making, you know, big money and you got more than 250000 uh, My honest opinion is to break uh, up your money into different bank accounts if you are on that level and just never have more than 250000 in any one FDIC insured account. I mean, that's something that people can do, right? Two, more big investors, like I stated earlier, are eyeing Bitcoin. I just did a video on it earlier. So if you missed it, go back and check it out because the big investors and uh, big whales are noticing the benefits of having your money in Bitcoin because again, you're unbanking yourself. And I'm not telling you to go unbank yourself and join Celsius and, you know, earn a, uh, you know, high interest on your crypto. Again, that's not what we're talking about. We're specifically talking about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is becoming more and more reliable among big investors day by day, especially amid these banking crises. So again, I just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Like I said, bank number four, uh, do we have to name them again? Silvergate number one, they, that, that was first. Silicon Valley Bank, that was second. Uh, Signature Bank, that was third. And now Credit Suisse. What's next? Look, y'all know I'll keep you updated. So until the next one, y'all, I'll see y'all then. Peace.